Today, I'm gonna to give you a couple different ways to stitch up leather that aren't saddle stitch. Today, I'm going through a couple different ways to stitch up leather that are not your normal saddle stitch. They're a little bit more decorative and probably easier than the saddle stitch. They work uh, a little bit differently, but this video is gonna be pretty quick and dirty. Uh, it assumes that you already know how to punch your holes in leather for stitching and you know thread your needles and and that kind of stuff so if you don't know how to do those i have videos on saddle stitch as well as punching holes i will link both videos in the description or you can start on my beginner leather worker uh, playlist just up here or here wherever it is but with that said uh, i got everything ready here so we're just gonna jump right into it so we're gonna start with the baseball stitch. I have my leather all ready to go here. And I've already threaded my needles. Both types of stitch start the same way. You're gonna put one needle through the back side to the front on either piece of leather, starting at the bottom hole. And you're actually gonna stitch away from you. Uh, which is another thing that's different about the saddle stitch. So once you got it pulled tight, you're going to start with the left needle, just like we do with the saddle stitch. And you're going to go across and underneath the leather. And then from the back to the front, go through. And pull it tight. And then you're just going to do the same thing with the right side. Gonna go across and underneath and in from the back. The first couple stitches are kind of a pain when you're doing this, so you just kind of gonna mess with it. Once you get three or four in, you can pull it all tight and it looks good, but the first few are kind of awkward. So again, left in from the back side. Pull it through, and then the right is going to cross over and go from the back side as well. When you start doing this, you can actually do a, kind of a back stitch like we do at the end, you'll see. I don't really think it's necessary, but some people like the look of it. And I just got a few more angles for you guys here. We'll speed up the... Uh, footage though. It's all the same thing, just here's what it looks like from the different angles. Alright, and we're just going to skip to the end here. It's uh, the same thing over and over until you're done. So when you get to the end, you're going to do the last hole and what you're going to find is at the top, it's, uh, it's not going to pull tight. There's going to be a, a gap there where it can pull apart still. You can see it there at the top. So what we're actually going to do is we're just going to go across and through a couple times just to finish the stitch, to make it stronger, helps it stop from uh, unraveling and stuff. So you're going to go left, across, and then the right's going to go across. And you could cut them and melt them at this point, but I like to do it to just one more time. Sometimes I knot them at the back too, just to make it a little bit more strong, but you don't really have to. So just take the left, come back through to the front. Same with the right. Thank you. 
and then we're just going to do that same stitch that we did a few moments ago. There we go. And once I have two there, I'm just going to snip the threads off and melt it down like you would any other time. Nothing fancy here. I like a thread zap. You can very easily use a lighter. There we go. You can see why they call it a baseball stitch. So the next one is, I don't really know the name of it. I've heard it called, uh, cross stitch or an X stitch. I've also heard it called a box stitch, but I don't think that one's right. I think a box stitch is something different. But you're going to start the same way as we did with the baseball stitch. Through the back side of each piece of leather. And it's pretty much the same stitch. The only real difference is when you go across, you're actually going to go from the front to the back this time. So the left goes across, and through the front, pull it out of the back. And then the same with the right. Now there's kind of one added step to this stitch. And you're just gonna have to go across at the back just to get the thread back in position. So just flip it over, start with the left, push it through the hole, and then again with the right. Looks good. Flip it over. Do it again. This is very much like the baseball stitch in that the first few stitches are kind of a pain. So just after you get three or four in, pull them tight and you can play with your leather a little bit to get it uh, nice and even. There we go. And you're just gonna do that over and over again until you're done. We're gonna speed up the footage and take a look at a couple more angles, but it's the same thing. And my uh, camera had issues here, but you finish it the same way you finish the baseball stitch. You can see that line across. Then you're just gonna melt the leads flat, push it down with your finger, good to go. And that's how you do both of these stitches. Sorry, my memory card filled up at the end of finishing this. But you finish them both the same way. You just do that line across there and then just melt it with your lighter or your thread zap. At the start of the video, I said I'd give you two and a half ways to stitch up leather. And 
The two and a half ways is because the cross stitch here actually has a really cool look on the back side where it's uh, kind of like this lad laddered look. And all you would do is instead of doing the cross on the grain side, you would uh, flip it around and then just do this ladder thing on the grain side with the cross stitch on the back. Uh, all of these look really cool. They're not quite used for the same thing that obviously a uh, saddle stitch is used for. If you were gonna saddle stitch these together, you would have to layer them on top of each other. And also a saddle stitch is gonna be stronger than either of these. These are more decorative. Um, they look really good kind of as accent pieces. I know Creative All uses them a lot uh, in their patterns. They like the uh, cross stitch there. I really like the baseball stitch. Uh, I use it on my cup sleeves. I think it just looks really cool, but I like baseball, so. That's about it for this one. Uh, if you like this video or you wanna see more different ways to stitch up leather, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you could like this video, it helps me out and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.